Eba is like the most popular um, real estate investment location right now in Lagos. By the time you check three, four real estate videos online, Eba will be one of, one of them. And um, for some investors who have already bought, some investors who want to buy are not really are confused about some of these locations and some of the landmarks attached to these locations. <laughs> Sometimes people ask me, how, how far is the place to allow? Uh, how far is the place to receive me? Uh, how far is the place to this and that? So um, I will try in this video to share some of the most popular towns in Ekbe right now and also the landmarks of each of these towns because a lot of realtors right now are just using a template landmark. Every property in Ekbe, you see it's immediate. Every party in Ekbe, you see Alago City there. Every party in Ekbe, you see like if it is zone there. <laughs> but I, I'll try to distinguish and uh, differentiate each of these land, um, towns in Ekbe and also let you know the landmarks that are close or closest to each of these towns in Ekbe. So, in case you are coming across a video like this for the first time, this is Miss Nipapati Gayopati channel. And this will discuss everything real estate for those who want to invest by real estate here in Lagos, real estate in general, generally, we share tips, guys, and advice on what to look out for, the titles, the documents, terms, clauses that you must understand before you start investing in real estate. So after watching this particular guide, for people that have not learned so much about Ekbe yet, I have a playlist. I have a playlist on our channel for Ekbe. So I've done like almost six, seven videos in this playlist for Ekbe. So you can learn so much about should we invest in Ekbe for short legs, what, what are different risks attached to freehold, locations in Ekbe, the prices in Ekbe and so on. You can watch those on the Ekbe playlist. So um, let's look at the towns in Ekbe right now and the landmarks that are also close to these different towns. Now the first landmark, the first town in Ekbe we'll be starting with is Poka, Poka town, Poka Temu, Poka Temu town. Now, this place or these towns are relatively very close. Immediately, you climb the Ekbe Bridge and you pass the Ekbe T Junction, which is a very, very popular um, landmark. A lot of you guys would have seen in the video the Ekbe T Junction, that's where we have that fish. So, that's the Ekbe T Junction. Um, you are into Poka Town and Temu and Temu Town. Now, the popular landmarks for Poka and Temu Town are the Ekbe Resort and Spa. The Ekbe Resort and Spa is very, very close to Poka Town. So, there are some properties also selling in Poka. Um, Arcview have one property in Poka. Um, Fotizu have the Oasis Garden in Poka. And also some other companies that have some Evergreen. Evergreen also have one property in Poka also. So, all these properties, they are very close to the Ekbe Resort and Spa. And they are also very, very close to the Ekbe Bridge and Alago City. Let me put it in minutes. From um, Oasis Garden, which is the one by Futizo, and not by Agview, because they are almost like the same axis, to Ekbe Resort and Spa is like around 10 minutes drive. From those Poka Town to the Ekbe Bridge, let's say roughly 15, 15 minutes drive, and roughly around like 18 minutes drive, from Poka Town, you are already at Alago City and the proposed international airport. So, if you want something inside the Ekbe Town that is as close, as close, as close as possible to the proposed airport, then your preference should be Poka Temu, basically. Now, the second town that we'll be looking at in Ekbe is Ketu. Ketu Ekbe. Um, the Ketu Ekbe also, we have a lot of neighboring towns. We have Ketu, we have um, Itoki. We have um, Ejiri, we have Majulaye, all these places that are all in the same axis. And all these places are off the Ekbe Eko Road. Maybe I'll just explain that briefly. There are two entrances and, um, sorry, there are three entrances and three exits to Ekbe. We have the entrance of the Lake Ekbe Expressway, which is passing Eleko down to Alago City, down to Ekbe Bridge and Ekbe Town. That's the first entrance and the first exit. Now the second entrance is passing through Ikorodu, Ikorodu, Maya, Imota, Agboa. Then via the Ekbe talking road, you get into Ekbe. That is second entrance and second exit. 
Now the third entrance into Ekbe is passing through Ijebu, which is Ekbe Ijebu, Ijebu Ode Express, which is Ekbe, um, which is Shagamu, Shagamu to Ijebu Ode, and from Ijebu Ode go into Ekbe. So these are the three entrances and exits to Ekbe. So Poka Temu, those ones are via the Lekki Ekbe Expressway. Ketu Ekbe, Itoki, Ejiri, Majulaye, all these places, Omu, all these places that via the Ekbe Ikodu Road, via Agbowa, Imota, Itoki, into Ekbe. So the nearest landmark in this location is Isimi Lagos. Isimi Lagos is actually facing the Ekbe Ikodu Road. So, for if you want to invest in that is, in anything, any location that is close to Isimi, then your preference should be Sala, Ketu, Ejiri, Itoki, and so on. Those are the locations closest to Isimi. Don't go and buy in Ekbeto Gates, Odolewu, Abi, Igbonla and feel like you have something close to Isimi. They are not the same thing. They are not the same axis at all. At all. So, Ketu Ekbe, Ejiri, Majulaye, Itoki are the axis close to Isimi. Now, the third town in Ekbe we'll be talking about is Odwe Ragushi. Now, Odwe Ragushi is where we have the popular Yabatek Ekbe campus. <laughs> I know that you have, you have seen a lot of adverts and then see Ketu Ekbe still see about the campus here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the same as this. <laughs> it's not the same as this at all, like at all. The Yabate Ekbe campus is off the Ekbe side that goes to Ijebu. It, <coughs> it's not off the Ekbe side that goes to Ikorodu. It's off the Ekbe side that goes to Ijebu. And it's after Poka. So, all the side in the Odorakushi is further down than Poka. So the landmark for the Ragushi is the Yabate campus. So if you are investing in properties in Ragushi, like Capstone, like um, Isglowy Courts, and some other so many estates that are in Ragushi. So just know that you are investing around the Yabate Ekbe campus. That's the direct landmark to the houses. Ragushi is not close to Isimi. Isimi is not a landmark for it. Isimi, I, I don't project Isimi to have an influence on Iragushi markets, even when Isimi becomes fully developed. So, the major objective of people that have projects or have properties in Iragushi is to build hostels for the Yaba Tech Ekbe campus. Now, the fourth town is Ilara, Ibongo, Ibola. All these axes are almost like this, like pretty like the same, the same place. Ilara, Ilara town, um, Ibongo, and then Ibunla town. Um, if you have been seeing a lot of property adverts in Ekbe, we have already seen a lot of properties in Ibunla. Ibunla we launched one own land, Ibunla town. Now, Ibunla town, the landmark for Ibunla is um, Augustine University, Otedola Housing Estates. These are the landmarks, closest landmarks to this location. Igbonla is not close to Isimi. Igbonla is not close to Ikorodu. And Igbonla too is not really close to Alago City. Uh -huh. Because it's inside this side of town. So, but the nice landmark is what I just gave you. The Odedala Housing Estate, the Augustine University, and, the, and then there is one model college, Igboji. Igbo Model College, these are the nearest landmark to Igbonla, Ilara, Igbo Town. Now, this place, the all these places are scantily populated. There are still majorly bushes right now. So three years, four years at least, houses should start springing around. But if you can see a property before the August University, all, most of those places are like already residential people are already staying around so but anything after the august university downward to igbonla is all bush and that's why igbonla is also very very cheap very, very affordable this is the land of 1.2 1 million 1.5 million in igbonla but the landmark for igbonla is not a simio it's not a lago it's not a proposed national airport to, it's far for me to 
uh -huh. you want something close to Bobo's International Airport or close to Alago inside the Bay, Poka or Temu, I have to pay five million. But if I buy land of 800k, 750k, 1 million in Ibunla, your landmarks are hotel housing estates, Yabate campus. Because I know that most of you guys that buy, you don't really inspect these properties physically, so at least this will help you to have an idea of um, these locations. Now, the sixth town I'll be mentioning is, um, uh, what's the name? Mojoda, Udubba Wojo, um, Oduelewu, Ekbetu Gates. Now, all these places you are already nearing the Lagos Ogun State border in Ekbe because there are some part of Ekbe that is Ogun State, too. Uh -huh. just like Bega, just like Ikorodu, some part of Ikorodu is Ogun State, some part is Lagos. So, some part of Ekbe, too, falls under Ogun State, some fall under Lagos. So, Ekbe is also like a border town, too. So, all these uh, Oduelewu is Ogun State. Not Lagos State, but Mojoda, Odubba, Ojo, some part of it still falls under Lagos. So, but all these places you are already closing to the Ekbe Toll Gate. Anything at the Ekbe Toll Gate, eh, you are already close to the Lekbe, eh, Lagos Ekbe Border Town. So, the Ekbe Toll Gate is like the biggest landmark in this location. You can also squeeze in the Yabate Campus as a landmark, but you can just squeeze in sm small. So, don't go and buy a property in Mojoda or Odubba, Ojo. I feel like you have something close to the same. They are not the same area, or, uh, or you have something close to the proposed airport, and your parties are Mojoda. It's not the same. Oh. So Mojoda, Odubba, Ojo, um, Odulewu, all these places, um, you are already getting to the Lagos, Ogun State border town of Ekpen. So with these towns and the landmarks now, you already have an idea of which part is which part. To a bear a journey talking, I see me parts, and that those are those are like the a bear could do side. Poka Temu, they are the Lake Ekbe Expressway parts, and very close to the Ekbe Junction, and also very close to the proposed international airport. Ilara Igbola is not close to uh, Isimio. All those parts you're already heading to the Akbar Jabu the expressway. So and the landmarks are the Hotel Housing Estates. The Hotel Housing Estate people are staying there already, and the Augusta University. Now another thing about the Augusta University is that that estate is totally boarding. So don't think that because you have a property around that place, you can build hostel. The hostel is not for those students because those students, all of them stay inside that inside that university. They don't accept students from outside. Uh -huh. So you can build flats instead. Don't be having mind of hostels. So that's it for August University. But in Lara, if you have something in Lara, you can still build hostel for people that are attending Yabatek. Because Ilara is, is still relatively close to the Yabatek campus. But Igbonla is still, is still much inside, inside, inside. So when you see these adverts, these Ekbe adverts, and you see these landmarks, Lake Free Trade Zone, Alago City, Lake Purpose Natana Airport, Kenneco, 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 just look at the town. So when you look at the town there, you already have an idea of the closest landmark to this town. The free trade zone is not close to Ekbe. Apart from Alago City, which is like a, an offshoot of the free trade zone. The main, 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 main free trade zone and the main, 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 main seaport is not close to Ekbe. Although there is a, a route that are doing beside, before you get to the Ekbe, to, um, Ekbe Bridge, where you can link to back to the Ekbe seaport and so on and so on, but it's still not close. So I won't really use those places as a landmark. But in the full shop, most of the people that will be staying or working at the free trade zone and the seaports, definitely a lot of them will be looking at staying in the Ekbe because some people may not really want to stay in the industrial axis. But all those places are going to be very, very industrialized and commercialized. So almost every space there is going to convert or be converted for something commercial. Offices, shops, warehouses, and so on is what is going to be invoked there in 10, 80 years time. So a lot of the people that are going to be working in those axes will mostly be coming from Ekbe town, around Ibunla, around Ilara, around Ilara, which is where most of them will be coming from. So it's still not bad for you to invest in any of this location, Ibunla, Ilara, or so on. It's not bad for you to invest in this location, but you should always have understand that it's long term. 
is long term. People will get to Poka Temu before they get to Ilaga, and that means also that by the time people want to start moving to Ekpe also, they'll be fair to also still rent a house in Temu or Poka before they start going to Ilaga or Igonla. It's when the houses in Poka and Temu have become so expensive, and they feel like, ah, you have to get something cheap out. That's when they can now start going to Ilaga, Igonla axis, or Mojoda, or Dubai, or axis, or even after the Ekpe to get axis. So, if you are buying a land of 800k, don't be forming like the person that bought one or five point five million. Or, yes, both of you guys bought in Ekpe, but the places in Ekpe that you guys bought is not the same. All right. So these are the different towns in Ekpe, and these are the different landmarks that are close to to these different towns. So if I want to buy around Poka, we have. Yes, I sell properties. <laughs> Let me be saying this brutally now, clearly. I sell properties. Oh. All right, so we have parties that we are selling in Poka. We have parties that we are selling in Ibunla. I've actually sold like around 8 to 12 plots in Ibunla. We have parties in K2 also. K2 is um, I'm even in a deal right now of like 2 acres in K2 Ekbe. So we have properties in K2 Ekbe. We have properties in... Um, Iragushi, you have properties in Ilara, you have properties in um, Igbo, you have properties in all these locations basically. And um, I, I know a lot, of, a lot of you guys, a lot of my subscribers are like advertising properties for us. Let's know what you are saying. Let's do. This channel is for guides, this channel is for us to advise you based on your investments. So I'm definitely going to be shipping in the options that we have in our portfolio but this channel is still strictly for guides and advices so um but we have properties in these locations Oka, Temu, Odoragushi, Ilara, Igbonla if anyone are interested in these locations and want to see what we have available okay you've advised us you guide us let's see what we have in these locations yes we have in K2 we have things that are close that are close to you see me we have offers that are close to your battle campus and all these different landmarks in the better so um i see you more property on the planet your party advice about the consultant rabbi mustafa thanks once again for watching our videos for the time the attention giving us likes subscribing sharing even dropping comments we, are, we appreciate you guys a lot see you then.